Do you know how the presidential motorcade protects the president's safety? This video will simulate how the presidential motorcade passes through three dangerous areas. The first dangerous area, remote controlled bombs are installed along the motorcade's route. The second dangerous area, an ambush by a sniper. The last dangerous area, a rocket launcher fired from a roadside van. Let's see how the motorcade resolves these three crises. As the motorcade enters the first dangerous area, there is a remote controlled bomb under a manhole cover. The bomb does not explode as the vehicles pass over it. Two antennas on the lead car's roof emit radio waves, blocking all nearby electronic signals, rendering the detonator far away ineffective. The motorcade is unaware of this. Passing through the second area, we know there are two identical presidential cars. We cannot determine which car the president is in when the sniper clearly sees the president through the scope and pulls the trigger without hesitation. His bullet fails to penetrate the car window. It turns out the presidential limousine is specially customized by General Motors. The doors and windows are very thick. It can withstand armor-piercing rounds. The entire car is an armored vehicle with oxygen supply and blood matching the president's blood type. The whole vehicle weighs nine tons. The Secret Service calls it the Beast. When the motorcade reaches the third dangerous area, a rocket launcher aims at the presidential car. At this moment, the smoke emitter installed on the presidential vehicle triggers immediately, releasing a large amount of smoke to conceal the car. It is said to be infrared smoke, capable of preventing heat-seeking missiles from locking onto the presidential vehicle. At the same time, the driver will quickly leave the scene, 